Hello and welcome to this presentation on stock constraint design of structures. My name is Jonas and I'm a PhD researcher at the Structural Exploration Lab at EPFL in Switzerland. This paper was carried out together with my colleagues Jan Brutting and Corentin Fivet. Today's buildings are responsible for approximately 30% of global greenhouse gas emissions. Therefore, reducing the adverse environmental impacts of these buildings is a prevailing challenge. One approach to reduce this environmental impact is the reuse of structural elements over multiple service cycles. In conventional structural design, the structural layout determines the required elements to be manufactured. Instead, the design of structures through reuse describes the inverse. Structure topology and geometry must be designed to make best use of available stock elements. Depending on stock element characteristics, Reused elements might also be combined with new elements to obtain structures with least environmental impacts. Today, there is an increasing interest in these circular design approaches by practitioners and researchers. However, only a few computational methods that support the stock constraint design of structures exist. In previous work, methods to design truss and frame structures from reused and new elements were presented. There, mixed integer linear programming, MILP, and life cycle assessment have been combined to obtain a globally optimal usage of stock and new elements with least environmental impact. To make stock constraint design methods available to a broader audience, this paper presents a new computational tool. Besides the MILP formulation, the tool provides a newly developed algorithm based on a best fit heuristic. Furthermore, it enables a user interactive and parametric stock constraint design workflow. The potential of the proposed computational tool is evaluated via its application to several case studies, including the benchmarking of the computational performance of both methods. The workflow of the proposed tool is explained in the following. First, a structural layout, meaning its geometry and topology, is defined. Then, the support conditions and external loads are defined. The second input consists of the stock comprising the available reused and new elements. The core of the tool is the then following optimization part. To solve the stock constraint design problem, the designer needs to choose between the MILP-based formulation and the best fit heuristic. The output of the tool is a visualization of the optimal assignment of elements and relevant result matrix. To close the design workflow, the starting structure layout can then be manually adjusted and improved. A key advantage of a MILP formulation is that it can be solved to global optimality. Combining these structural optimization methods with life cycle assessment also allows for the minimization of structure environmental impacts. Nevertheless, solving a MILP problem is at worst case exponentially complex and hence it may require significant computation time for larger scale problems. On the other side, the heuristic is an algorithmic process that aims to produce a solution based on an iterative application of practical rules. Such a iterative procedure can be carried out very fast in computation time terms. As a trade-off, a heuristic cannot provide any information on solution optimality. A well-known heuristic is the best fit algorithm. In this work, this algorithm is adapted to obtain an optimal assignment of either reclaimed or new elements to member positions of the structure subject to element length and capacity constraints. In the following, the application of the presented stock constraint design tool to a statically determinate structure is shown. The image shows the layout, support conditions and loading of the truss system, as well as the available stock of reused and new elements. For this example, results for both methods are computed in almost real time. The significantly better global optimum obtained through MILP might not be negligible in practice. Yet, depending on stock characteristics, the best fit produces acceptable results. The second example represents a statically indeterminate roof structure and again an available stock of elements. In this example, the best fit produces the same solution than the MILP, but in clearly less computation time. It follows that in this case, best fit is preferable to MILP. This applies in particular when fast results are crucial, as it is the case in the early conceptual design phase. However, if a more advanced planning phase requires to reduce environmental impacts as much as possible, it is worthwhile to resort to MILP. 
In this example, we can see a special trust structure with the corresponding stock. In the first step, we can check how the structure deforms under load. At the same time, the plugin assigns stock elements to the structure for the given load case in almost real time, so that we always get feedback on our design. By changing the curvature, the size, or the subdivisions of the structure, the user can design his or her structure according to specific needs. Thus, we get different topologies and geometries pretty easy. In this way, the plugin allows to design structures while always knowing how to make best use of elements from an existing stock. The interactive access makes it, makes it easy for the user to quickly evaluate the different designs. Besides the composition of reused and new elements, we can also check for other outputs. For instance, the distribution of tension and compression forces or the environmental impact of individual elements in the structure. Besides the visual feedback on the canvas, the user also gets a quantitative feedback through various result metrics like the total environmental impact, the total mass, or the reuse rate in the structure. In conclusion, this paper has presented a computational tool to design trust structures from a stack of reclaimed and new elements in an interactive and user-friendly way. This paper has also introduced the implementation of a best-fit heuristic. It shows potential for the application to real-world structural design tasks due to its fast computation time and interactive handling. From a broader perspective, the presented tool supports the goal towards more circular structural design. In the end, I would like to thank you very much for watching our presentation. For those who get curious about our research, we would like to invite you to contact us directly or download our developed plugin. We would be very happy for any kind of feedback and look forward to meeting you soon.